Yo, yo, YouTubers, welcome to my channel. I got a new statue just now. This is the Flash One Third Scale by Prime One Studios, part of the Justice League movie line. Huge box, as you can see. So, put the camera more in the back so you guys can truly, you know, see this. Nice art box. It's very thin. It's not super thick. I got number 51 of 150 on the exclusive. This is now actually sold out on Sideshow's website. So it does include a 2020 calendar, which is nice. Instructions and a 2019 summer guide. So lots of Prime One information. Yeah, and instructions uh, not necessarily needed. Uh, just looking at it barely now. Very heavy box. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bad boy out. They include little handles here, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get it. Nope, too freaking heavy. So I'm gonna just flip it upside down, take it out. Yeah, very heavy box. They come up, uh, come up course with a brown shipper. So my Wonder Woman one third ultimate is in transit. Looks like they used tape. Sorry, I got my cutter. Yeah, the Wonder Woman ultimate is in transit, and I'll have her on Monday. So super excited to get her. Very excited to get the Flash. I remember seeing the flash in person, the prototype, and it was very impressive. Yeah, this box weighed uh, 60 pounds according to UPS. This is gonna be my truly only high-end flash statue. I got a little one tenth. That doesn't really count, though. Yeah, I wish they'd go back to using Velcro. I hate tape. It's so annoying. Both packaging, like repackaging up, you have to retape it, and then just opening it. You see how long this takes me. Now, if it's Velcro, boom, done. So, man, that's hard to freaking. All righty, let's open this bad boy, see what we think. I remember the prototype was extremely juicy, like vibrant looking. That was very impressive. Looks like they used the white cloth. Typically it's black, so. Feels like it's this base that's super heavy. These one thirds are generally pretty heavy. Oh boy, I like that flash symbol. All righty, check that out. I like that flash symbol in front. That looks good. Alrighty, I had to go clean my hands after touching that box in the styrofoam. My hands felt dirty, so I always like to clean my hands ever before touching statues. And here we go. The flash. So here is the body. See for size reference. Looks very good. There he goes. So he actually has a ton of switch out parts, which, oh, and I've already seen some damage right here. One of the arms. 
is broken. Oh boy. Hopefully no other arms are like this. Yeah, it's the arm probably holding the Batarang. This part broke off right here. I mean, it's a easy glue, but you'd still notice it being damaged. Yeah, this is the arm that holds the Batarang, which is separate. Gosh dang it, this is the one I freaking wanted to display too. Ugh. Hopefully they have replacements because this is such a limited ES. All right, let's take off this portrait. Yeah, this portrait is killer. So, so impressive. Thank goodness no damage on that. Curious if any of the other arms are gonna have similar damage to that area. So that's one arm. Although I think I'm gonna prefer the on the hip pose. So I wanna get that arm out. Yeah, they wrap all the hands on this to prevent damage. I almost wonder if you could fit the battering in one of these. So this one obviously will go right there. No damage. Wonder why this freaking had damage. All right, I wanna do it on the hips. There you go. So you can mix this up, but I really like the on the hips pose and then the holding the battering. Like so. And then here is the mother box. This one feels a lot more hollow than the other one, not nearly as heavy. But you can see you know, just how big this guy is, sucks on this freaking damage. Gosh dang, Prime One. All the other ones, this part is like on the freaking suit, but for some reason on this arm, it sticks out. These ones, none of them stick out, so it's no wonder this arrived broken. And that is it in regards to the parts. So you basically have one, two, three, four, five arms a battering, and this battering feels plastic, it's not metal at all. So the battering's definitely cheap. And this is hollow. Flash himself is heavy and the base is heavy. All the arms, very heavy, but this is definitely cheap and plasticky. It looks decent, not as good as my actual metal one I have over there, which I'll show you here in a sec. Let me go ahead and show you guys some close-ups. Alrighty, so you can see just how big he is. The face sculpt is probably the best thing about this. It's so impressive. The costume is very vibrant and super detailed. Looks amazing. Has some wear and tear, scratches, and battle damage all throughout. The base, there's like three broken up stones. Yeah, so here's the battering, I'm telling you. It's plastic, you know, and if you compare it to like this metal one, you can see how this has like a shot. Alrighty, sorry about that. I just got a phone call for work. But yeah, like I was saying, the Batarang feels cheap, although it still looks pretty good. I wish it had was metal though. So they definitely cheaped out on this. They cheaped out on the packaging, some of the packaging. And the mother box doesn't weigh as much as this one. Now this one has a good weight, probably weighs four or five pounds where this, not as heavy. So it definitely feels a little bit more hollow inside. And so here's Flash, he looks absolutely amazing. I do love this pose, I think it looks really good. Uh, here, let me show you where the damage was. So basically this has this part sticking out and broke right there where all the other ones, 
that gold thing is basically attached to it. Like it doesn't stick out. So it's no wonder it broke off because if you look at it, it's supposed to be like, like that sticking out. And that, you know, that's obviously why it broke. I'm curious if I could fit the batter ring in like that hand, because it looks like I could. But he obviously is going here with my Justice League line. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him up and then we'll dive deeper into the review. Alrighty folks, so here is my Justice League line. I can definitely tell you Wonder Woman will fit perfectly right there. The mother box, I only put it there temporarily. I'm actually putting all three mother boxes right there in front of Cyborg since he's like the one that handled them towards the end of the movie. Now I have the batter ring there and then the Wonder Woman bust in front of Flash. So that's the plan. Wonder Woman does arrive Monday. So looking at Flash, he definitely is freaking awesome. I really, really like him. I love the colors. He really, really pops and looks really good here. I think of all four head sculpts, his is probably the best. The best likeness. I mean, they all have phenomenal likeness, but his is like a 10 out of 10 head sculpt with uh, paint and detail. And the costume is really impressive. So definitely a knock out of the park. His base is also a little bit more vibrant. If you look at the bases, his base is a little bit more vibrant looking. This uh, base reminds me of when he's in that town and the ground, it's almost like reddish. So the base is obviously similar to all the other ones where it's the, you know, more like apocalypse type themed where it has all these jagged spikes coming out. And I love these bases. I think they're really impressive. They're huge too. What, but I like that because it makes the statue have such great presence. So they all have a symbol in front, you know, the Aquaman, the Bat, man symbol and this one has the flash symbol and i think it looks the best actually the way they did it because it has this effect right here and then the flash symbol really sticking out and it has like these texture to it it just looks really cool so i love the flash symbol on it looks great and then the base itself is great you know the like red gravel rock these three broken up stones. Looks very cool. I like all the bases on these. I think they're all very impressive. You know, I love these bases. Now onto the costume itself. So the costume itself has tons going on. You have different black and gold and red and different types of red colors all throughout the costume. It's very detailed. You got this like silverish type thing going on and all these little like, but almost look like little buttons. The flash symbol and it see it's similar to his chest where it has that like little indentation or whatever the heck you want to call it. You could definitely see these uh, right here where the arms connect. You can see those connected. Not as, yeah, it's, those are definitely very noticeable seams. You can't notice the head seam as much, but you can a little bit if you look closely right there. And there's the beauty. That Look at that head sculpt. Tiny bit of like facial hair. Eyes look very well painted. You can even see like the little eyebrow underneath. You can see how it's battle damaged. You know, it's not a super clean suit. He's in the midst of battling. Yeah, that head sculpt is just a knock out of the park. Super, super good. The seams are not horrible, but they are, you know, somewhat noticeable. But they did a pretty good job of hiding it. And it's great to have all the switch outs. I love the costume. For me, this is like the coolest looking Flash costume. You know, I'm a big fan of the TV series Flash, but their costumes are always like, they look like cosplay costumes. They're not impressive at all. And this costume is awesome. It's super vibrant, so much detail, so much going on. You know, it looks really cool. So yeah, you can see he's about as tall as Aquaman, maybe slightly shorter, if you look at that, slightly shorter. But overall, it's very impressive. We're gonna check out some of the switch out parts here in a sec. Let me show you the mother box as well. So here's the mother box. Looks like all four sides are about the same. Lots of little writing. Looks great though. I like having these mother boxes, they're pretty cool. 
I do have a custom one being made of the human mother box since I passed on Superman. So that's supposed to be shipping actually Monday. So I'll do a video review of that. Let's check out some of Flash's switch out parts now. Alrighty, so here is the arm with the Batarang. You simply insert the Batarang up top. I did go ahead and glue that one broken part for now until I can get a resolution from Sideshows. Because I do like this Batarang pose. Uh, I think it looks cool. And you can display the Batarang however you want. If you want to display it, you know, like this, you can. You know, it's like really however you want. So it's up to you. You know, you could display it like that. So he's like holding it more. It's, you know, up to you, but it looks pretty cool, I think. I think I like it like that. So I have it with the hip arm. I'll show it to you with the arm down, though. Alrighty, so here is the arm down pose. So I think I probably prefer it like this. If you're going to do the battering, the arm down just feels more natural. You know, why would his hip arm be on the hip? I think if you're going to do the hip pose, you should do the double hip pose. Or you could do double arm down or one arm down, battering up. So there is this. I do think this is probably one of the best poses. And then the double hip and then the double arm down is the last, the least favorite pose. But I do like that pose a lot. I'll show you the double arm down now. Alrighty, so here's the double arm down. Very standard museum pose. It's okay. You know, it almost looks like the way his arms are angled, like he's about to run, you know, like he's about to just jump into the speed force and start running. So there you can see it. Size reference next to the Predator, which is one fourth and a very big one fourth. Next to a bust, Towers, the Queen Studios bust. So these one thirds are monster pieces. You know, they run pretty much a thousand dollars plus each, but I definitely think they're worth it. I'll be contacting Sideshow regarding my damage to see what we could get done, if I could get a replacement or whatnot. Because I think the battering arm up with the arm down is my favorite pose than the double hip. So again, some more close-ups before we close out this video. You know, it's like I was saying, this face sculpt is just amazing. Super, super impressive in person. And the costume all around just looks great. I love it. See all the little creases. You know, it looks just like it popped out of the movie. Very, very cool. I'm thinking the way that battering arm is created, there's probably gonna be a lot of people that might get damage. See, and if you don't display the battering in the arm, you can just put it here on the base, which is what I would do. If I were to do the double, double hip, just throw this on the base you know it's looks cool so yeah i won't be displaying the mother box there i'll be displaying it right here and then the third one right there maybe even slightly taller just leave them as is but yeah wonder woman comes on monday she will go right there with the little bust right there battering there three mother boxes there so that's the plan super excited to get wonder woman you know, I've waited so long for these pieces, two plus years. I pre-ordered Wonder Woman day one, December 17th, 2017. And here we are almost 2020. It's absolutely insane it took these long. But, you know, they definitely are knocking these out of the park. I think Wonder Woman's going to be a grail. She was my favorite when I was at Tokyo Comic Con. I just loved her. Uh, and then, you know, Batman was my second favorite. And the other three are honestly all tied. I like them all equally so much. But... Yeah, Flash is super impressive. This is very limited. It's already sold out on Sideshow. So if you wanted this, you'd probably have to jump on either a retailer or Prime One directly, which takes forever and the customer service is atrocious. So, but if that's your only option, you know, I would definitely recommend this if you're a fan of the Flash. You know, here we got his movie confirmed coming out in a few years from now. So that's super exciting and great timing, you know, getting the statue, knowing that he does have a future and not just a one-off Justice League movie. So that makes me even happier to have this, knowing he has a future. Aquaman, you know, or he has a second movie planned. Unfortunately, Ben Affleck's done, but here he gave us, you know, several amazing movies. So I'm at least happy we got more than one movie out of him. But let me know your thoughts 
What do you think of this flash? I think it looks great. It really does. And it really fits my collection. So I'm going to put the battering arm back on and just sit here and enjoy it. Probably even watch the Justice League movie. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.